Hi, greetings, it's me, Dr. Paul Gerhardt, and today I want to talk about networking and negotiating. And I want to tell you, besides effective communication, I really believe that being an effective person who can network effectively and then negotiate effectively, um, I believe that's the, the number two most important skill that you can have. Of course, there are a lot of skills that you need to have in order to be effective in your uh, relationships and building relationships. But networking really is something that if you could learn it, you could quickly grow your career a lot quicker than simply what I like to call bumbling. So uh, really learn the skills uh, of what most effective networkers do. You know, and, and really it's about recognizing that you are your own brand manager. Nobody else is going to manage your reputation or image except for you. And so really being able to understand how to make sure you sell yourself effectively and then create and maintain your brand and then build relationships. You know, everybody needs other people in order to be uh, successful. Almost everybody that I have known that has grown their careers has done so because they've been really good at um, networking and, and being able to know the subtle skills in order to leave a good first impression or make sure that they're asking you know for things the right way or they'll be able to understand what the needs of their stakeholders are and if you've ever watched me talk about selling is we're always selling but networking is about maintaining those relationships and utilizing those relationships uh, to, so that there's always mutual gain in there. And this is why I always love to talk about the power of thinking win-win. You need to make sure that you other people that you're involved in uh, feel like they're getting something out of it. You know, the networking is an ongoing process used to build interconnecting relationships. And there's always politicking going on. And politicking is simply recognizing that different people have different things to offer or different types of, of power. And being able to have people of power in your social circle really takes the skill of effective networking. And so there are lots of tools for us today in order to build and maintain our networks. We are alive in the greatest time of all history for the very sake of growing our careers. You know, we need other people to get what we need. If you have goals of becoming a certain you know, whatever title it is in an organization, you need to be able to find what that organization is first, be able to figure out what jobs are available there, and then figure out how to get to where you want to be. And sometimes that takes networking interviews, you know, put like giving your card out or really introducing uh, yourself to other people and then working your network. Do you know anybody that uh, may be able to help me? get to where I need to be. So there's a lot of different objectives to networking that you should consider. Most of us will be going through more than one job. Even if you want a promotion, uh, you need a different job outside of your organization or within your organization. You're going to need to network. If you want to perform better at your current job, you need to make sure that you've got a network internally in your organization that helps you get the resources that you need to be successful. If you want to grow within your organization, you need to have a good reputation and you need to make sure that you're building a solid rapport with the people at all levels of your organization. You are only as strong as your reputation allows it and you are the only person that's going to manage that reputation. So if you want to grow in your organization, that means you have to be ethical. It also suggests that you need to stay current in your field. And networking with other people who know things or are experiencing things that you need but haven't yet experienced um, really takes you being able to utilize your network. You know, it really helps you maintain mobility within your organization or gives you other options, you know, and 
more than anything else, networking is about developing and maintaining personal and professional um, relationships. So really, really, really recognize that relationships are fragile. Be a person of integrity of all time and do the right things by the stakeholders that you're involved in. So uh, networking really has five basic tasks to it. First of all, you really need to do a self-assessment. Who are you and where do you want to be? What are your strengths? What is it that you have to offer? Where have you been? What are your experiences? You know, being very clear on those things and then connecting them what your goals are uh, is really important. So perform a self-assessment and set very clear goals. You know, be thinking 10 years from now, where do you want to be? How are you going to get there? Who do you need to know that can help you get there? Maybe you don't even know who those people are. So that's when you start doing research. One of the most important things that you need to remember is people are always evaluating you. And sometimes we do things like create a halo effect, which helps us give a great first impression. And so really having a powerful elevator speech or one minute self-sell is really important. That means being able to recognize that if you're going to network somebody else, that you have a thoughtful, well-rehearsed, one minute speech that kind of sells who you are. And then third, develop a network. You know, you, you need to be able to um, continue to know who you need to know and get to know people you need to know and then maintain those relationships. And fourth, if you want to grow your career, conduct, ne conduct networking interviews. So uh, sometimes uh, you have to identify the organization that you want to work for and then figure out who's, you know, who's got those jobs and what the jobs are and then go and talk to people. Maybe you're talking to a manager or maybe you're talking to an HR person. One of my favorite people that I graduated from college with, she was making an amazing amount of money and had a beautiful car and I asked her how she could afford that because she had the same education as me and she said, well I just called up this large company, went and uh, set up a, a networking interview with them. They didn't have anything with for me and then she said, uh, you've got to have something in this huge organization that I can do. I can learn anything. And they were so impressed with her that they, they created a position for her. So sometimes being assertive uh, can help get you where you need to be. So conduct networking interviews and then do things every year to maintain your network. Send people an email. It's even better if you send them like a, a Christmas card or every once in a while um, give a person a call and say, hey, I'm thinking about you or just wanted to check in and, and catch up with what I'm doing or I'm interested in what you're doing. So um, there really is an art to effective networking. Um, if you, if you want to do this right, really be about your skills and competencies and knowledge. What is it that you know? What's important to you? And then write down at least two to three things that really define your skills and abilities. Uh, things that you would find on your resume. You know, be very, very clear on who you are and what it is that you have to offer. And then you have got to leverage those things. You know, tying in your accomplishments in an interview really is important. So if you, you're writing these things down and you're very clear on who you are and what you have to offer, that will help you really grow your careers. So make sure that you uh, set up a networking interview and you have very clear goals there too. Um, make sure you break things down into specific tasks. Um, I know I introduced this philosophy about your one minute self sell. It needs to be clear, concise, and compelling. People need to be interested in you. So be able to say things in a way where people are like, wow, that's really interesting. You know, and so you're, you're thinking about your history and your career, your career plan. Uh, and just summarize those things in 60 seconds or less. You know, and ask a question. Do you know anybody? that may need somebody with my skills. You know, so it could be as easy as that. So um, again, 
Your outline for your one minute self sell is to talk about your history very quickly. You know, what are your plans? Why, why did you go to school? What did you study? Why have you been working on what it is that you've been working on? You know, and then uh, open up two way communication by asking, you know, the right question. You know, I know that I mentioned, you know, you are your own brand manager. So do make sure that you are aware of your personal image. You know, what are you putting on Facebook? What are you putting on your in your social um, network? Uh, what does your LinkedIn account? Your LinkedIn account probably is the most important professional uh, network. Uh, social media out there. I know that I've been asked to apply for jobs that I wasn't even looking for because I have a very powerful LinkedIn uh, resume on there. And so do really be aware of the fact that when you're looking for work, you're competing probably against people all around the world. What do you have or what can you convey that makes you be seen as the very best person? You know, we've only got so many choices that we can make in so much time so how can you make sure that you look the best so be thinking about that you know if you've got things on your social media that probably could deteriorate your image maybe you better think about uh, deleting different things and making sure that if you're thinking about future positions that you're positioning whatever is in your social media as you being seen as an expert and person of credibility. You know, very often organizations are, or probably not very often, but all the time organizations are, are looking for ways to find the very best people out there. And so sometimes asking for a network interview with a manager or a human resource professional, ask for 15 to 20 minutes of their time, and then talk about what you have to offer. And they may not have anything there at that time, but if you can take a handful of business cards and leave them two of them, you know, and take a resume, you know, those are things that leave an impression that make it easy for people to consider you if a position opens up or uh, recommend you to someone if someone in their circle uh, needs someone of what it is that you have to offer. So here's the networking interview process. First of all, uh, establish rapport. Praise a person uh, in some genuine way and read the person. Oh, I like your suit, Mr. Jones, or um, I love this, this company. People seem so friendly, Mr. Jones. I'm, I appreciate your time in this interview. You know, thank people for their time. Thank you so much for this 15 minutes uh, to, to uh, tell me a little bit more about your organization. I know that you're a busy person, um, and uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to hearing more about your company. You know, state your purpose clearly. I'm here to find out what options are available, Mr. Jones, and uh, I'm really grateful for your time. Deliver your one minute self sell, sell is, is step number two. You know, be able to say, Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Gerhardt, or whatever your name is, of course, and um, I help organizations align leaders and followers so that people are, feel good about their experiences with each other and are motivated to help uh, accomplish organizational goals you know whatever that is you know and then uh, have uh, have some questions you know do you have any any positions that you foresee opening up that can that can utilize my skills you know very often uh, people won't have something at the time or maybe they do but they may actually have a connection for you to offer you if they like you they'll offer you um, I know I don't have anything to offer, but I know somebody that can. You know, maintain your coalition with other people. You know, uh, take time to network with other similarly minded people. Look for different groups that are available. Um, you may be surprised how if you are working with other people and they like you, you know, that they want to recommend you. 
uh, to their organizations and many organizations have rewards for people who make recommendations that actually end up hiring other people. Um, very often this thing about fit matters most for organizations and that really is about personality or values and experiences so be very aware of what it is that you have to offer and when you're hanging around other people who have a network and we all have a network you may find that people go oh my gosh you would be great for working for so and so company uh, I have a connection that I'd love to help you out with you know people want to help people who they like. That's just a natural characteristic of, of being in business. You know, it's not every organization is a good fit for everybody. So really being aware of what you have to offer and then making sure that you are uh, aligned with it. You don't want to work for an organization that really isn't a good fit for you. You will be miserable and you probably won't be motivated to give your very best and uh, it probably would be better if you you know or no matter how much money you need be able to say you know what this really doesn't feel like a great fit for me but I'd love to um, recommend other people uh, to you for this so um, knowing that networking is always two-way and you've got to be looking for win-win if it's not a win for you or it's not a win for them it's got to be win for both parties then it really isn't a win now very often there's wiggle room to allow you to negotiate a contract or no, negotiate a, uh, a wage increase. And so very often you've got to be very, very clear on what your bottom line is and what you're willing to accept and not willing to accept. Allow other people to make an offer and be willing to say no. If they want you, they want you. Uh, but let them make the first offer. You know, build trust, always be open and honest and flexible. You know, remember that relationships are fragile. Uh, developing good negotiation skills really means that uh, you've got a good plan in place and you, that you're willing to bargain. And maybe that's a skill you don't have. Well, if you don't have that skill, develop that skill. Uh, very often people won't be able to come to an agreement right off the bat so maybe you're gonna have to postpone it and then finally uh, once you agree on things or things can't be agreed upon you know just kind of accept things where they are but you have a lot of power in your own success but you gotta know your own value so uh, having a good plan really means researching you know set very clear goals uh, have a specific target on what you're willing to walk away with. Uh, be able to, uh, you know, being smart means that you are anticipating questions that they may ask for you and you're being ready to answer those questions in an honest uh, way. And then figuring out what you're willing to give up. What trades, trade-offs and options are you willing to, to give up for something in return. So that really is essentially the negotiating process. You know, if you want to, uh, have a life that you truly love you need to make sure that you understand the bargaining process develop a rapport you know focus on obstacles never attack another person uh, don't call names you know be respectful in, in the, what the eyes of what the other person says you know let the other person give the make the first offer really listen to what people are saying and clarify things for expectations you know you want people to feel like they are in control and that they're genuinely respected. And then don't move too fast. Um, we all need to process things at our own time. And, and people may not be processing things as fast as you or you may or they may process things faster than you. So really take time to think about things. Be a person of absolute honesty and integrity all the time. Uh, you don't have to ha create a sense of urgency in things. You know, if you rush into something or you're, you're making people feel pressured, people will probably regret making a decision in the longer run. It's got to be a win-win and you have the power to create a win-win situation in all opportunities. So uh, you need to be able to think long-term and so you, you create 
a long-term relationship in the networking process like growing a garden. Little incremental things that you do help build your reputation and make people want to recommend you or promote you. But you create your own successes and failures with the choices that are given before you. Make good decisions. Be a person of integrity and really consider the other person or people involved to create a win-win situation at all opportunities. All right, I know I've given you a lot to consider with uh, networking and negotiating. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I thank you very much for your time. I hope you have a great day because only you get to choose how you feel about it. I'm Dr.